So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I brush Imogene's hair. She's a ragdoll cat and obviously this video can go for any breed, any cat breed, um, not just ragdolls. Uh, she is a long haired cat so those are the tools I'm going to be using in this video. And I know in the previous video I showed you guys how I brush her hair but it was a little quick and in this video I'm going to go into full detail and you guys will see how much hair I can get from her. I do try to brush her every day. Um, but with work it kind of gets hard so like I'm going to show you guys how I quickly do it during the week and on the weekend is when I go into full brushing mode and I get a lot of hair out. So yeah, uh, stay tuned and be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you guys have any suggestions throughout the video. Okay, so let's get into it. Alright you guys, it's pretty funny. Whenever I do take out the brush she just like runs to it and I usually let her sniff it just so she's familiar with the brush. <laughs> So this is the one that we usually use and then I just throw it to the floor and she follows it. These are the two brushes we will be using. So this is a wide tooth comb. Um, I like to start with this to detangle her hair. And then this is the Ferminator. Uh, I like to go in with this second to comb out all the hair and catch a lot with this one. And then this is when I go back for the third step, back with the wide tooth comb to catch all the flyaways that were made with this. So. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I use it. Okay, so what I usually like to do is make sure that she's not too hyper when it's time to brush her. So I usually wait when she's um, sleepy or after she's done playing and she's played too much, she gets tired. So that's a good time too. Um, and right now, I think she might be sleepy. Um, she's been playing all day. So hopefully she cooperates for this video and we will see. She's usually calm when I brush her, and if she's hyper, that's when she'll start playing with the brush and biting the brush in a playful way. Um, so let's hope it's not one of those. <laughs> okay, it's kind of hard to record with the camera and make sure I get all of her, but what I usually like to do is start with the wide tooth comb, and so you just comb her hair lightly. You just have to be careful not to hurt her or press too hard. See, she's very calm right now, luckily, but let's just hope she doesn't get too hyper. Uh, so yeah, just go in every direction, take out all the knots with this comb. I'm already catching a lot of hair. Okay. Her head, she usually likes it on her head, and then under her chin. Hmm. I feel like brushing her is like bonding time, because she's gotten used to it. Especially after work. Um, she's usually bo like bored. <laughs> she's bored all day, so I feel like this is good bonding time. See, she's hyper. So when she does that, I put the comb down and I flip her to the other side. <laughs> and then I, I just continue to brush. Sometimes I don't care if she attacks the brush. Um, just because it's not that bad. She's still letting me brush, but she's playing around. So whatever, let, let them have fun. <laughs> And then you gotta get the tail lightly. Come back. <laughs> okay, that's that's good enough. Okay, I got the hair on this. Um, and so we forgot the tummy. What you do for the tummy, I usually just hold her like this. Actually, I'll show you guys the tummy after. We'll leave that for after. We'll just do her sides and her back. So now you're going to go in with the Ferminator. And so gently, because I feel like the Ferminator grabs a lot of hair. So I usually like to do this twice a week, I would say. So on the weekends, I would do it once. Let's say Saturday. And then during the week, let's say Wednesday, I'll do it once. And then the rest of the days, I just go in with the wide tooth comb. So... You go in one direction and you pass it on that direction once. You don't want to go twice because I feel like it's too harsh. So now we'll do the other sides, her back, and her tail. Okay, you see I already grabbed a lot of hair. <laughs> and now I'll flip her because we're done with this side. Hey, Jean. Come on, flip. <laughs> Okay, now on this side, we'll go back the same way we did on the other side. One pass only. 
Okay, so I already see a lot of hair flying. See, this is, I'm gonna show you guys the results at the end. You're gonna see how much hair I'm grabbing from her. So now once you're done with the Ferminator, you're gonna go back with the white tooth comb to catch all of the hairs that are flying because they don't really stick on the Ferminator. See, so we're just gonna grab those. You guys, once you brush your cat every day, you're going to see such a difference on how much hair actually goes in your furniture. Come on, Imogen. We're going to flip you the other way now. <laughs> see, she's biting, but she's calm. She's just playing around. Let me catch all those flyaways. I'm going to show you guys after this how I do her belly because that's the hardest part. I feel like that's when she gets really tense. It's okay. Okay, so that's it. You see how much hair I grabbed from this? These are some of the flyaways. Okay, so in general, this is all of the hair that I got from her, not including her belly. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna show you how I get her belly. I mean, it's really hard to record this. Um, so this is the hair that I got not including her belly this is a lot and I brushed her yesterday I mean she just sheds a lot but it's great when you can catch them all by brushing makes a huge difference now she ran away <laughs> I have to go grab her so I can show you how I do her belly BRB. okay we're back <laughs> and so this is how I do her belly I usually grab her and make sure her feet are resting on your legs um, you take the wide tooth comb and you gently brush the belly, but be careful um, with the armpit areas because they have thin skin there. Um, and it's like, you can tell where it is. Um, you can tell that it's very thin and stretchy and you don't want to hurt that. So you just brush her belly lightly, just like that. Okay, look, that's all from the belly. And then I usually don't do the Ferminator in her belly. I feel like she doesn't have as much hair as her back on her belly um, and the Ferminator might be too harsh. So just go in with the white tooth comb, it should be enough. But if you want to go in with the Ferminator, go ahead. I mean, it's fine, it won't hurt. So yeah, that's it. That's how I brush her hair and I get all the hair out. And it helps. Another thing you guys should do is, after you're done combing your cat, is um, either use a chom chom roller or vacuum underneath the area that you combed her um, because the Ferminator makes the hair fly. So yeah, this is from her belly. I mean, it's so cute. So yeah, this is all the hair that I got from her. And it was easy. What, this took like three, maybe five minutes? Um, it was pretty quick and now she is brushed and she looks fluffy just look at that <laughs> so yeah so i will be listing down below in the description box um what are the brushes i used as well as the links for them from amazon they aren't too expensive they have them on amazon for cheap um they're great you guys so the Ferminator I will list down below as well as the wide tooth comb that you guys could use so I hope you guys found this video to be um, helpful and be sure to like and subscribe and leave any suggestions on how you guys brush your ragdoll cat's hair and if my tips and tricks worked for you guys <laughs> and so bye we love you guys and stay tuned and subscribe to us for more cat videos of Imogene and I bye guys